look at 8 times the cube root of 27x to the 4th. Well, I just leave the 8, and I break it into what is a cube and what's left. 27 is a cube, so I put the 27 with the cube. x to the 4th is not, so I write it as x cubed and x. So I have 8 times the cube root of 27 is 3. The cube root of x cubed is x times the cube root of x, which gives me 24x times the cube root of x. Look at another one. Let's simplify 7xy times the square root of 200 x to the 4th y to the 9th. I just leave the 7xy. Now factor it into what is a perfect square and what's left. 200 is not, but 100 is. 100 times 2 is 200. So that's how I get the 200. x to the 4th is a perfect square. y to the 9th is not, but y to the 8th is. I'm left with y. So I have 7xy times 10x squared y to the 4th times the square root of 2y. The square root of 100 is 10. The square root of x to the 4th is x squared. The square root of y to the 8th is y to the 4th. See, so with these exponents, the index is 2. 2 goes into 4, 2. 2 goes into 8, 4. Now I simply multiply the numbers out from on the radical together. So that would be 70x cubed y to the 5th times the square root of 2y. Division works the same way. You just go ahead and simplify the radical and then take it from there. So if I have the fourth root of 16x to the fifth y to the 13th divided by 2x squared y, I need to break the radical into what is a fourth and what's left and just copy down everything else. Sixteen is a perfect fourth. X to the fifth is not, but I can write it as X to the fourth times X. Y to the thirteenth is not, but I can write it as Y to the twelfth times Y. Now I can take the fourth root of this, so that would be 2XY cubed times the fourth root of xy divided by 2x squared y. The fourth root of 16 is 2. The fourth root of the x to the fourth is x. The fourth root of y to the 12th is y cubed. Now I reduce the numbers. They're not under the radical. So I can reduce 2 by 2 x and x squared by x, x goes into x1, x goes into x squared x, and the y cubed in y by y. y goes into y1, y goes into y cubed, y squared. So that leaves me with 1 times 1, so it would be y squared times the fourth root of xy over x. If you have a division or any other operation inside the square root sign, you always work inside the symbols of inclusion first. And the square root sign does act as a symbol of inclusion. So I can do that division. 18 divided by 9 is 2. x cubed divided by x is 
x squared. y squared divided by y is y. Now, once I do what's inside, I now break this up into what is a perfect square and what's not. x squared is 2y is not. The square root of x squared is x, so my answer is x times the square root of 2y. So even though those problems looked a little bit uglier, they worked exactly the same way. You just had to reduce or multiply once you had simplified. I'm going to give you an exercise to make sure you understand the new concept. The first one, simplify 8x times the cube root of 24x to the fourth. The second one, 3y times the square root of 50xy to the fourth over 6y cubed. Copy the exercises and then stop the tape. Restart the tape to compare answers. Here come the answers. If you disagree with either of these answers, be sure to check with someone. This completes tape 121.